Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I'm doing a hair video. I haven't done like a single hair video for ages. I've obviously had braids and twists in for a while since like the beginning of the year really. Obviously I love them, but the last twists I had, like the way they were pulling on my edges, it was doing a lot of damage because my hair's really fine. So yeah, I've gone back to a protective wig at the moment, which feels so much lighter. <laughs> and um, I don't know, my hair, I just feel like my hair couldn't have a chance to like rest a little bit. So in this video too, I could have done it this on my natural hair, but I really feel like my natural hair needs a little bit of a break. So with hair products um, and hair tools, GHD has been a brand that I've used for years. I'm sure loads of you guys have used them too for years. Like I love their products. So in this video, I'm gonna be playing with two of their hot brushes, which one I did use a little bit because I went on an overnight stay with them a few weeks ago and I got to try out the Rise. Um, hot brush. I'm also going to be using the Glide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the result of one first, the Glide. So this hair is, you know, it's washed, it's not been heat styled or anything and you know what? This is nice and relaxing. I haven't done hair for a while and then I forget how nice and relaxing it is. Um, so this is the Glide. Doo -doo -doo. So, I'm gonna use this to get a quick and easy sleek look to the hair. So just literally brush through everywhere and just get a nice sort of finished look. So that's just heating up. And then this is the Rise, which is newer from them. And you might have seen it on my stories too recently. And this gives you a really quick and easy voluminous look. So it kind of gives you that look of a blow dry with the big, nice sort of loose curls. Wow, I haven't done curls for ages too. So this is a bit of a test for me. Like. <laughs> Do I, do I still got it? <laughs> Someone came and did a demo of this um, when I had the overnight stay with them and it was just, it was so quick. Anyway, first, I'm gonna obviously put some heat protector in. I'm gonna use their GHD one. Also, by the end, I wanna get a really, I wanna get a nice lift at the root too and sort of in the crown. I always go a bit mad with heat protector, I put so much in. But can you imagine? We all used to, we never used to use this. Can you imagine? Uh, the naughties. Brush that through. Actually, I'm gonna grab some clips so that I can section my hair off a little bit. Do it in sections so it's not too much, you know, so it doesn't get into a bit of a mess. Um, it doesn't take long to heat up at all. So the details on this brush are, it has ceramic technology with ionizer um, and it heats up to the optimum styling temperature of 185 degrees Celsius. It goes to that temperature because it's the temperature that won't damage your hair even though you're heat styling. You still get the results, but um, yeah, with the least damage to your hair. It would tame flyaways really, really easily too. If you have slightly frizzier hair, you know. Also with the Glide, it has longer bristles and shorter bristles. It will focus, can you see? There's like two different layers. Um, it's so that it, it can grab as many hairs and style as many hairs as possible. Basically, so it can be as efficient as possible um, in one stroke. This is the result of the glide. This is a really easy, you know, day-to-day -day look. Just up and out. Now I'm gonna show you how the rise works for sort of another go-to look because I love, I love like the big curls look. Um, and I usually I do it with straighteners actually, but this, I'm really intrigued. I actually haven't tried it on this hair yet. So I'm intrigued to see, how, you know, the, the difference between using this and using my straightener way um, or like a, another barrel. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna style half of the hair first and then just show you guys the difference between the two sides. Let's have a look close up. Super light too. 
Oh, such cute noise. Reminds me of a Tamagotchi. Ice cream! Start with this side. Let's start at the front so you can see it really clearly. So this works really well if you do it from the root, but I think because I'm just styling the very front of my hair, it might be a little bit, I'm gonna start a little bit further down. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so like loose. I love that it grabs the hair because it sort of does the job for you of holding the tension. Anyone that curls their hair, you know what I mean? Because you have to keep that like tension on the hair, you know, as you're doing it the whole time. It sort of holds the hair for you. I know that seems sort of obvious, but <laughs> when you're doing it, it feels nice. But... Now I'm gonna go a bit more from the root. And um, this, the rise has the same smart technology, oh, no, the other way. Has the same smart technology as the glide. So it heats to 185 degrees which is optimum styling temperature for your hair. Okay, so I want to see how it works with just adding a bit of volume at the top, so not with a whole um, curl all the way down, which I will do soon, but I'm just gonna let it lift up a bit. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like that worked. Okay, so. I like to work in quite small sections, but you can obviously take more hair as you go. So, oh, you can definitely see the lift. It has five millimeter bristles so that it can get the hair right at the root. I'm gonna put some um, curl hold spray in. So I'm gonna leave that side there so you can see the difference too. I'm gonna to carry on and um, do the other side too. You can use this for any hair type too, which um, I obviously have a few different hair types <laughs> potentially, so I get to like try it out on each different one. I, I used this, um, a hairdresser used this on my natural hair when I was at the shards with them and it worked really well. I feel like my hair is quite easy to um, style, like it's, it's very reactive, is that the word? use a little bit of the GHD Smooth and Finish Serum. This is my finished voluminous look with the rise. That was so fun to create, just so easy too. I mean, I like it to look a little bit tousled and a little bit lived in, um, as opposed to like, you know, picture perfect. I just think, I just like that finish better. Okay, I'm gonna keep touching it. And <laughs> probably mess it up so I should stop. I'm really happy with the result. They're my two results with the glide and with the rise. Um, hope you guys liked this. This was so nice to do. Um, thank you guys for watching. Any information you might want about either of the hot brushes, I will leave down below. I'll leave all info down there. It's so nice to play with GHD products just because I've used them for so long too. And um, they're always amazing products. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.